Yo, what up dogs, Ignitex here, coming at you at extreme speed with yet another exciting episode of Pokemon Soul Silver Evolution Challenge. Last time we just, well, did just some wandering around, a bit of exploration, went to, um, Ruins of Al, and caught ourselves a new team member, Beacon the Marie. Uh, who is now up to par with everybody else at level 12. This time we'll be going and continuing our journey and going along the route with the Magikarp. I think. At least. I should remember. This is the. This is my favourite Pokemon game. And I'm still forgetting stuff about it. So yeah. Um, leading with Beacon I don't think is exactly the best plan. Depends, depends who we fight this episode. Um, I'm gonna speed through this. Uh, this is just like the boring wild battle is something I don't think I want to see, to be honest. I haven't seen you around before, so you think you're pretty tough? Well, yeah, not to brag or anything, but I think I am. So yeah, there's a Rattata. Quick Attack's gonna come through, not that it wouldn't, because it's 100% accuracy in this generation, I think? Or is it 95? Maybe it's Tackle that's 95. And a Zubat, that's perfect for Beacon. Zippity Zap! Get out of here, Zubat! No match for Beacon! I said Beacon really awkwardly there, it was like, Beacon? Oh, strong! Are you gonna get my phone number? Oh, thank goodness you're not. Because I would never allow that. Yep, the reason I was speeding up is to get that item without any wild Pokemon interrupting me. <laughs> I still feel like I'm using it in like a dumb way. Because it's like every time uh, there's like a patch of grass, I speed it up. Oh yeah, and you know, pardon Pokemon battle? I'm on the phone. Alright, I'll accept your challenge. No, it's okay, you don't have to hang up or anything. It's not that important, mate. Anyway, yeah, I feel kind of... I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't just... Maybe I should just not speed up? I don't know. But I'm so used to using it. But I, I don't want to give it up like that. Oh, pointless crit. Always have to have some of those in, the, in your Ignitex video. Before I could get serious, I lost. Yeah. It's... Oh. No, let's not be friends. No, I won't be your friend. Hashtag rejected. Did I actually just say, say hashtag? Oh my goodness. What, what has become of me? <laughs> okay, I believe this is where all of these, um... Magikarp fishermen are so this uh, Magikarp fights. I'm gonna speed through them. <laughs> My Pokemon freshly caught. Okay, that isn't a Magikarp. Uh, if it's not Magikarp, we don't need to speed up for it. But Magikarp is Magikarp, and Magikarp needs to be sped up because nobody likes Magikarp. Gyarados is pretty cool, but Magikarp is just no. If your next Pokemon's a Magikarp, yeah. Yeah, I think I've got the point across on that whole deal. Why are you using Water Sport? I would never use a fire move against this Poliwag. That's a thing. Why do Water types get Water Sport? Shouldn't it be the Grass types that get it? The only Grass type I know that gets Water Sport is a uh, Budgeon. 
Splash! You didn't even use that move because you don't even have a single Magikarp. Well done. Whoa! You made me lose that fish. Is it a Magikarp? Yep, it is. So while Beacon um just plows through these Magikarps, I just want to chat about stuff. Uh, I don't know what stuff. Uh, but yeah, I haven't been uploading very uh, much recently, and uh, I'm sorry about that. I really probably should have, and it was quite dumb of me not to. It's not like it's like ages between when I upload, but um. It, I feel like maybe it is, I might be giving you guys a little too long to wait between episodes and I apologise for that. I've just been wanting to, to chill a bit and I don't, don't want that to sound at all like I don't want to be doing YouTube and I am, um, and I'm only doing it to please you guys and it's not, I, I'm not doing it just for that. Uh, if I wasn't having fun, I would just stop, and this playthrough is fairly fun, it's just... Yeah. Sometimes I just don't want to do that. You know, just break away from YouTube sometimes. Whatever. Don't young people fish anymore? I can teach you how to fish well. If you'd like to exchange phone numbers with me? No. Oh, my own kids won't even give me their own phone numbers. I guess that's just how young people work these days. Kids these days! Or always playing on their Xbox sticky majigs. They never want never playing real sport like fishing. But seriously, I don't know anybody who likes fishing. If that's a good Pokemon in the grass, I think they'll do it for me. Yeah. Like bottom percentage ratatas. Ratatas? No, Rupa. I wonder if Rupa's ground at this point. It is, okay. Oh no, that's super effective. Eat it up, vegan. Wow. Dang. I did not think you'd take that. Nearly as well as you did. And yes, if, uh... Beacon will probably grow another level. And that will be when he would evolve. But we're not going to let that happen. We're just going to say no to that. Pretty much. Unless I uh, fail and I let him evolve. <laughs> then that'd be bad. Because I might forget something like that. I'm a kind of forgetful person. Yeah, I I am pretty forgetful. What? It lived on one! That's another thing you need in an Ignite X video. Pokemon surviving with one HP. <laughs> Shucks, I thought I could win. Well you couldn't. How would you like to have this tasty nutritious slowpoke tail? For a million Pokemon dollars! That sounds reasonable! You don't want it? Then scram! Shoo! Yeah, I'd do that! But that... that confirms something! The people eat Pokemon! People eat Pokemon! And I don't... I don't know what to think of that! I mean, it makes sense, but still... I don't know. Bonjour. How are you? Are you? I'm not even going to attempt to do that accent. Are you picking apricorns? Way to go, little apricorn collector. I feel so great. I want to give you this. Okay, thanks. Loo ball. This Pokeball makes it easy to catch the Pokemon that appear when you go fishing. Actually, this is made from apricorns. Consider those two as small gifts from me. If you want more, go to Azalea Town. A man called Kurt can make special Pokeballs out of apricorns. Apricorns rule. No, they don't. This area's great for fishing. 
at all these people fishing. Did you feel like you wanted to try fishing too? Well, now you say it. New team member. And you know exactly who that's gonna be. When you wanna go fishing, face the water and use the rod first, then concentrate and look closely at the water. An exclamation mark appears when a Pokemon is taking a bite. Press the A button. This is an emulator, so this is not the A button, it's the X button, actually. <laughs> Quickly to pull back on the line. You'll see what happens next. Is this water, be it the sea, or just a stream? Try the old rod. What should I make my Pokemon hold? Maybe an item that increases its attack power? I guess. Blah blah blah. Heal my Pokemon, mate! Let's see. How many Pokeballs do we have? Two. I'm gonna be going up against Magikarp. Uh... So, I feel like a Pokeball will easily catch a Magikarp. Okay. Come on, Magikarp. Really? Magikarp! Come on! Magikarp, do you hear me? Wow. Oh, oh, oh! Level 10? Not that bad. I mean, it's some magic art, but okay. I'll take it. I mean, yeah, I was gonna have this magic art on my team anyway. So, yeah. Magic art. Or Gyarados, rather. Be my water type throughout this Nuzlocke. It's not a Nuzlocke evolution challenge. There we go, Magikarp. For no reason, it jumps and splashes about, making it easy for predators like Pidgeotto to catch it mid-jump. Alright, the Pokédex never seems to be very friendly to old Magikarp. I ought to feel a bit sorry for the guy. Anyway, names for a female Magikarp. I have, I have no idea. Um, I guess? I'll name her, um, Tata, or have you Tata, how have you pronounce, how have you say it? After, um, Tata sauce, which you eat with fish, if you didn't know that. I think that's how you spell it, or is it just like that? Welcome to the team, Magikarp. Alright then, uh, let's check out Tartar's stats. Probably not going to be very good. Are they? She's brave and somewhat of a clown. <laughs> Just like me. Except not. I'm not brave. <laughs> uh, has Swift Swim. I don't think Magikarp has any other ability. Only Splash and those stats are terrible. Terrible, I tell you. They're a disgrace. Anyway, yeah, and I just realized my uh, team is evenly divided between genders, which is what I always want to have. So, yeah. I'm feeling pretty good about that, you know? I mean, this Magikarp's definitely going to need some training. And while Switch training is one of the most tedious things, like... Ever. I can live with it if I'm gonna get a Gyarados out of it. That badge! It's from Violet City, you beat Falconer? Oh, I did. You jealous or something? 
Alright, you got Pidgey. And I don't have I have just the thing for that. Bring so am I gonna bring in Beacon or Hardcore? I'm just feeling in like a beacon kind of mood today, so I'm gonna bring him out. I gotta remember that I I gotta press Z. Uh which is what I have B set to. Uh when beacon levels up. Otherwise I don't even know what I'm gonna do about that. If I mess up and he ends up evolving, then Because I would have made that the evolution between Bugsy and Whitney, I would just have to not use Beacon between when he evolves and after the battle with Bugsy. I can still evolve Icarus and that'll be fair game. Or anyone else for that matter. But, no, it would be Icarus. He's the one I was planning on evolving. Hope that makes sense. And if not, then... Well, I don't know. And, yeah. Constant sand attack versus rock throw. Rock throw will pull through. And this fight isn't very memorable or anything like that, so that's why I'm speeding it all up. Vegan's probably going to level up. And, um... Yeah, again. Note to self, stop the evolution. There. Okay, yeah. Beacon, you ain't evolving until we get our next badge. Just the way it is. So there's Union Cave up ahead. Um... How long is this video? 17 minutes? I feel like if we squeezed Union Cave in, it would just make it way too long. So I think I'm gonna end it now. Because we caught a new team member, and I know we aren't doing much in these episodes anymore because... It's because I've stopped using speed up so much. That's the reason. And I've just realized, we are not going to get to Bugsy until like episode 10 or something, which is... That's weird, we... Going by episode numbers, we would have already beaten him at this point. In the monotype. Whatever though. Yeah, I feel like this is a good place to end off the video. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to show support by commenting, subscribing and leaving a like. And with that being said, peace out dudes.